Mark and Aileen Cahill farm near Cutbright in southwest Scotland. The Cahills operate a grass based system supplementing grazed grass with meal and byproducts when available. Yield per cow is close to 6,000 litres. The Cahills are milking 250 cows with 64 hectares or 160 acres available for grazing around the parlour. So grazing is limited on the shoulders, but Mark feels the advantage of getting the cows out of the shed is very worthwhile in early lactation. This year, Mark had calved cows out grazing by day from early March, supplement with 10 kilos of Vitagold and 5 kilos of meal per cow per day. Byproducts like Vitagold are more available in the UK than Ireland. Vitagold is a byproduct of the whisky brewing industry. Last year, to help access the grazing area, Mark laid old concrete railway sleepers that sit down beside each other to act as a farm roadway at a cost of £20 sterling per metre or €24 Euros per metre delivered to the farm. To manage grazing, Mark uses the Farm Wizard grassland package. On a weekly basis, he inputs the grassland figures and calculates farm growth rate and target figures that drive his system, similar to many Irish farmers. Mark operates a flying herd, which means they don't rear any dairy replacements for replacing cows that leave the herd. What replacements are required are purchased from year to year. The farm has operated this replacement system since 1963. Instead of dairy AI, breeding all cows are bred to beef sires, mainly limousine and Belgian blue sires. The Cahills use a self-driven heated milk dispenser with petrol pump type nozzle for bringing milk to and from the calf shed. Mark said it means there is no heavy lifting or pushing involved for the person feeding the calves. In summary, the Cahill's investment in farm roadways, fencing and receding is paying off and it means Mark can get cows out in early March each year, lowering farm working expenses and improving margin in a labour-friendly manner.